Hi, I'm Rick Duncan, a member of the applications team for Texas Instruments Motor Drive products. Today, I'm in our motor lab and would like to talk to you about tuning stepper motors. In an ideal world, tuning a stepper motor should be easy. You should be able to connect the motor driver, set the desired current and speed, and run the motor. In the real world, it is not that easy. Most modern stepper motor drivers regulate current, allowing you to increase the motor voltage. This, in turn, allows you to spin the motor faster. The downside to current regulation is the current is no longer constant and increases and decreases when regulating the current at each step. Current regulation is available in two forms, fast decay and slow decay. To obtain maximum efficiency, trade-offs are made such as using slow decay when the absolute value of the current increases between steps and fast decay when the absolute value of the current decreases between steps. Another trade-off, mixed decay, is a variation of fast and slow decay where percentages of fast and slow decay are used to minimize the current ripple. For those new to stepper motors, these modes and trade-offs can cause confusion when initially tuning a stepper motor driver. The most common trouble area is the loss of current regulation when holding or at low speed. This can be seen in the following image, which is running the stepper motor at 200 steps per second at 1 8 microstep resolution. The scope capture on top is an example of a desired current waveform showing both windings. Note the current appears as a sine and cosine wave. The bottom image is an example of loss of current regulation. Note the missing steps when the current is increasing, then the return to normal operation as the current decreases. In the bottom image, the decay mode is set to slow mixed. This setting is considered desirable in many applications because there is little current ripple when the current is increasing and limited current ripple as the current decreases. This setting is also typical of many stepper motor drivers available today. The difference between the desired top image and the bottom image is the use of a new feature called adaptive decay. This feature is available in TI's latest stepper motor driver, the DRV8846. It automatically adjusts the percentage of fast and slow decay. This new feature allows those new to stepper motors to begin controlling the motor immediately. There is no tuning process required to achieve close to optimal results. For those experienced with stepper motors, the DRV8846 allows you to tune the motor with nine decay modes and three off times, enabling tuning for maximum efficiency, minimum current ripple. The top image is an example of the DRV8846 with adaptive decay running the motor at 4,000 steps per second. The bottom image is using slow mixed 50% to tune the motor for better performance. Note the step transition is slightly slower in the top image, but the motor current ripple is less. Both current waveforms are close to optimal. The difference is the adaptive decay setting reduces the time required to run the stepper motor. In summary, tuning stepper motors involves more effort than it sounds like, and the novel adaptive decay in the DRV8846 offers the chance to make the tuning much easier. For those new to steppers, we hope it will speed your design cycle. If you have questions about the material presented today or are looking for additional information, please see the following URLs. Good luck spinning those motors!